I love playing my piano, but I love it even more thanks to my ambient lighting from Philips Hue that I automated with my Hubitat Elevation. Let me show you how it's done. The plan for our living room is to install Philips Hue white ambience light bulbs here, here, and here. And we will automate them with motion sensors located here and here. And these bulbs adjust for both brightness and color temperature, so we are going to take advantage of that in our automation. As Zigbee lights, Philips Hue will pair directly with your Hubitat Elevation hub, but depending on your setup, you may find better performance when you connect them to a Hue bridge that is paired with your hub. So that's what we're going to do today. It's very straightforward, you simply connect the bridge to the same network as your Hubitat Elevation hub, then the bulbs will automatically pair with the bridge when you first screw them in. Then, to finish the process, we need to go into our Hubitat Elevation hub and add the Hue Bridge integration app. Once it finds the bridge, we add it to the app, select the Hue devices we want to add to the system, and we're good to go. If you're not using the Hue Bridge, the bulbs can just be added like any other Zigbee device. Now that we've installed our three bulbs and have our plan, let's build our rule. So to automate our lights, we're gonna use the new room lighting app. So we're gonna click here. Now you can import lights from other apps you have into room lighting. We're gonna create a brand new room lighting automation. So we'll click right there. And then we're gonna select our new room, which is the living room. And when I select that, it's gonna automatically populate all of the lights that are in the living room right here. Now we can add extras, we can take some out, but we want those three lights to be the ones we're going to automate. Now you can see this little grid right here. It shows you where the lights are right now. And this is gonna show you right here what you want the lights to be when the rule is activated. So we actually want different things to happen based on the mode the hub is in. So we're gonna set up modes or recreate recapture devices. And we're gonna click use per mode settings and that allows us to set up different lighting scenarios for each mode. And we're gonna select the day, evening, and night modes. And you'll see those get populated right there. We're also gonna turn on this toggle here, which allows us to select the number of minutes the lights will stay on after motion has stopped for each mode. Now we can go ahead and set the level and color temperature for each bulb in each mode. We'll zip through that for you, but the idea is that we want a brighter, cooler light in day mode, and a warmer, dimmer light in evening mode, and an extremely dim light in night mode. If you haven't seen our video on setting modes, check it out in the links below. And so we like those settings, we'll click done right there. Now we need to select our means to activate the lights. In other words, how are we gonna turn these lights on? Room lighting automatically finds the motion sensors in the room and sets those to activate the light, which is pretty cool. We can go in here and select those to turn on or off. We do want both of these motion sensors to trigger the light, so we're gonna leave those as is right there. One thing we do wanna change, if we only want it to be active, basically when there's no daylight. So we're going to limit activation under these conditions, which is between two times. We're gonna set it between sunset, and we'll say a little bit before sunset, so about 20 minutes before sunset, and then we'll end it at sunrise, again, a little after sunrise. So during our daylight hours, this rule is not gonna be triggered, but when it's you know dark, we want some light, uh, it's gonna go ahead and activate. We've set different lighting options for different modes, so we do want that to transition when there's a mode transition. So we'll select this right here, and the lights will adjust when the mode changes. Um, pretty slick, and then just to make things cool, We'll set a transition time of two seconds right there. So those are all the activation options that we want. All right, so now we need to select our means to turn the lights off. And just like when we're turning it on, it has already selected the motion sensors. When there's no motion for a certain amount of time, the lights are going to turn off. But we have a couple other things we wanna add to that. For one thing, when our hub goes into night mode, we want to have all the lights turn off basically in the whole house, including these. So when mode becomes night mode, it's going to shut off the lights. Now, as far as options go, um, there's really nothing we want to add to that. We just want it to go off when we want it to go off. And so that should work out uh, very well there. So we're we'll select done there. And then we're just going to review our rule. And this looks like we're all set up the way we want it to be set up. It automatically populates a room name, but we like that one. So we'll go with it. And when we sit done, our rule is now created. So that's it for our first foray into the room lighting app. Hope you enjoyed that. Room lighting has a lot of options you'll want to explore, and we'll be doing that in future videos as well. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel, 
to see when future videos come out. And also check out our community at community.hubadet.com for help from other users just like yourself. So thanks for watching today and thanks as always for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation. Thank you.